Hi. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how I use Superstar to create my singing faces. So let me go ahead and show you first how they look. So let's go ahead and run a little bit of this video. Oh, Steve, the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corncob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Okay, so again, if we come back over here to the sequencer, you can see that playing out right here. Started off with the first face singing and then the two joining in, the two background singers joining in. So let me go ahead and show you how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. So I'll go ahead and delete all of the existing props. So there's nothing at the moment. And let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I do is I create a new musical sequence. I'm going to use the original song. It doesn't really matter for this one, but I am going to use a preview that I've created specifically for this purpose called Superstar Gen. And let me go ahead and show you that preview. It is just six one bulb pops stacked on top of each other. And then I actually have created a group called Face, which is those props vertically stack. That's it. So let me go ahead and save this since I'm going to use Superstar. That's the first requirement is I got to save it. So I'm going to call it Demo Pre, meaning Pre Superstar. And you may notice that I actually have all of my sequences stored in their own subfolder. So this is the one for Frosty Dean and you can see the multiple years of editing it. So go ahead and I'm going to create this one called Frosty Dean. I'm now going to select this whole row and launch uh, Superstar. Now you could do that with Shift S as well. So now that it's brought up Superstar, I'm going to go ahead and open a template that I've created before. And I apologize, this is a little hard to see because of the screen size on this recording device. But if I bring up the auto sequencing for faces here, you'll see that I've got basically over here, really hard to see, but each of these re relates to that prop that we saw and each one half, three quarters full relates to, you know, a couple of those uh, props being on or off. And so that's how we're going to sequence it for now. So instead of the whole song, I'm going to bring up the, the background or the, the main vocal. So let me open up Dean. Now before I actually run that, let me go ahead and show you those. So here's the main vocals. And I used a, a tool called easystems.com. You could have used Audacity, any of the tools to break it apart. But I basically broke out the vocals and then I split that into two sections. Oh, Steve, so no, uh, you know, no music, just soul. the vocals. And of course, one for the background singers. Frosty so those are my two audio files. So I'm going to go back over here to Superstar and I'm going to sequence them. Now I've turned up the sensitivity a little bit since there is no music. It's pretty easy to do. And I'm going to auto sequence that face. Now, once I do that, you can see here, here's the, the sequencing. And then once the lead starts, stops singing, then the it goes to nothing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to save that yet. I'm going to export it to the sequence editor, which creates an LMS file. So now I have a LMS file that corresponds to these faces for the lead singer. And I'm going to do the same thing now for the background singers. Again, I will auto sequence the singing face and you'll see it'll switch now. And so when he's not, when the lead was singing, no, no face movement after now the vocals or the after the background vocals then they're singing so again I'm going to do the same thing with that I'm going to export it to the sequence editor and this one's going to be called post back so pre was before I went into superstar post is coming out of superstar okay so we'll go ahead and close this technically you can either save it or not we'll go ahead and save it just so that we have the the images should we need it later on. Okay, so now let me open up those two sequences. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the post for the lead singers. And I'm going to use that same preview that we used earlier. 
with just the six props. I don't need the tracks, it doesn't really matter. But And when I open it up, you'll see I've got the outside and then the mouth movement or the varying shape. So go ahead and grab just the mouth movements because I really don't need the, the outside for now. So we'll just go ahead and select the whole row, copy that, and we'll come back over here and we will paste that into the upper lip for our lead singer. And if I was to play that now, so we can go ahead and play that now, you can see we've got our mouth movements for the lead singer. We don't have anything else, right? None of the other bits and pieces are there yet. We'll get to how we do that in a bit. And of course, I'm gonna repeat the process now for the background singers. So let me open up the background singers. copy paste them and again I will paste them into the upper lip in this particular case because the both background singers are, are basically doing the same thing we can paste it into the both of them at the same time so now of course if we if we if we play this with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes then made out of that's what you get now you can see at this point I've actually got all of the mouth movements that that I wanted but I don't have any of the rest right so of course now I have to add the varying things the eye movements the the varying things now you might say well why didn't I just use superstar to begin with and just do all of this in superstar well I like to be able to manipulate the the mouth movements the varying things after the point right maybe I don't like exactly the way that superstar did it and it's easier for me to do it here in in sequencer plus I want to be able to actually manipulate and I use uh, I actually use motion effects on the rest of the the sequences for example, if I wanted to come in here, I could set this up to have a oh, twinkle effect, right? And, so. and so now I've mixed the sequencing. So you could do it a mix, some of it in Superstar, some of it here. I prefer to do that export technique so I have the raw face movements right here where I can see them. That's why I do this. If we go back to the the final product which again is just now a case of deciding you know like here I want to fade this out I don't want it when they're not singing I don't want them so I want to fade them in you know what color do I want the mouth to be and so on right so we can just go ahead and we can control Z enough here back to the original and you can see here that I'm using a variety of techniques here on the on the face in this particular one it's mostly just color that I'm using to animate the face, but I use different techniques in different places. So again, now when I play it, you can see there that I've outlined the here, I've changed the mouth color, and I've got these guys flashing in and out. So again, just artistic effects once I get it to that point. But the key was that exporting out of Superstar so that I had the raw channel formats for these faces. Appreciate any feedback on this. Uh, thanks a lot for your time.